The municipal ID was announced by the mayor at the State of the City last January. The City Council passed legislation which the mayor signed in July and now the cards will be available starting in January 2015 for all New Yorkers who want them. And these are ID cards that are available regardless of immigration status, and they are absolutely cards for all New Yorkers. And of course, it's going to be the type of ID that you can use to interact with city agencies, including police, in interactions with the police. And so this is really a, an ID card that we hope will revolutionize the way in which New Yorkers interact with their city. Regardless of immigration status, so we really, really feel like this is a tremendous opportunity for all New York City residents to gain the access that they need for not only some of the basic things, as I said, we take for granted, but for us to really think about how best to build our communities and make everybody um, safer and have the ac access that they need to education and the wonderful benefits that are attached to this card, like the cultural institutions. People will be able to go to one of our enrollment centers to apply for the card. Um, there's a one-page application. It's fairly straightforward and simple in terms of your name and address, date of birth, things like that. Um, and we will have highly trained enrollment specialists in all five boroughs at our enrollment centers that can receive the applications um, and process the request for a card. Um, and then the individual will receive the card in the mail. Two eligibility requirements for the ID card are one, you can prove you are who you say you are, and two, that you live in New York City. Current rules as they're proposed have a five-year expiration date, and that's what we expect it will um, remain when the rules are, are finalized. So this is an important thing to notice. Is that note is that this is an ID card that's going to be available really for benefits within the five boroughs of New York City. Sadly, New York City cannot change state or federal law, and so uh, we're going to do what we can within the powers of New York City. So again, we cannot uh, change state or federal law, and driver's licenses are a matter of state law, and passports are a matter of federal law. The idea here, though, is that many people cannot get those state or federal government issued ID, so what will be available to them is this local government ID, which works within the boundaries of New York City. So um, we're finalizing the rules on that. In the rules that were published, it's a range of different documents. It's the type of things that you have to show to get a library card, right? A phone bill, a gas bill, a lease, you know, anything that sort of establishes that you are a New York City resident. The um, information associated with the card will be kept very private and, and um, confidential. And the will certainly not be shared with the federal government So the age, uh, minimum age to get the ID card at the moment is 14. So nobody will ask you a question about your immigration status. So there's no way for the card to indicate your immigration status to anyone. As I mentioned before, this is a card that all New Yorkers, including US citizens, will have. And so again, it's not like if you have this ID card that you're, uh, you're revealing yourself to be an undocumented immigrant. But Mayor de Blasio in New York City have been very committed to reducing the impact of immigration enforcement and have, run, have done a number of different policies to make immigrants know and feel safe in New York City.